I'm John Travis, and I'm one of the teachers at Spirit Rock. And um, I'd really like to stress the importance of um, uh, giving attention to the heart. And that somehow uh, we get so caught up, it's sort of like a helium balloon in our lives of uh, letting our attention sort of go up into our heads and not giving ourselves permission to uh, feel, feel our hearts and uh, how important it is to actually recognize that um, the illusion is that we're kind of separate from everything. And the truth is, we're connected to everything. And so how are we going to make that change to be available uh, for the truth of um, our own kindness, our own goodness, our own generosity? And that always takes, uh, in a sense, kind of a remembering that uh, that's possible. And also, it's fundamentally a training as well. So uh, for me, a lot of times when I, when I sort of get caught up in my sort of helium balloon brain and all the stories I'm telling myself, is I'll take a breath and I'll just let that attention come down. And so a lot of times I think it's all about training the mind actually to be in the heart. And so if we can actually give ourselves permission to, to uh, let it um, touch in some ways, the very fundamentals, and sometimes that's just the feeling. Uh, other times there's um, something, you know, we see somebody with a baby, a uh, brand new baby in the supermarket or somewhere, and it just ignites that little piece of heart or uh, kids playing or sometimes it's a remembering of, you know, I know of my grandchildren, they're so sweet and they're so, um, I don't know, they're just so open and I realize sometimes I don't have access to that. And so the piece is that somehow we have to remember that and we can kind of stop, breathe into the heart and sometimes uh, we don't have that, you know, little baby in the supermarket that we can connect with and, and allow it to come up. But we can always then go to our memory and allow ourselves to remember, oh, what is it that kind of stimulates that, um, that instead of the separateness, the connectedness? And that if we can then connect with that connectedness in some sense, then uh, we can touch into the fact that uh, our fundamentals are that we're, we are that kind of loving kindness. And that it's possible to remember it to generate it, and then uh, to start acting and speaking uh, from that. And that's really uh, what I'd like to offer. So, thank you.